Hey guys, welcome. Um, decided to do this video because um, I struggled a little bit with it, so I thought if I could do this, maybe help some other people. Now, what this is basically is <clears throat> for the MicroBeast users that are familiar with version 4 or and haven't uh, used the V5 version 5 yet and thinking about moving up to version 5 and uh, and there are some differences and uh, I kind of messed up a little bit because I kind of assumed that it was the same as V4 and uh, it's not there are some subtle differences and so I thought I'd just go over it um, on my computer here so basically you know what I'm looking at you're looking at my computer screen and uh, so if we look at these on the reference card uh, A B C D E F it's pretty much the same we'll go to uh, this is the V5 orientation swash frequency that's the same rudder frequency rudder directions it's it's worded a little different but it's pretty much the same through that right here's uh, where it gets a little different everybody uh, is familiar with step G swash plate servo trim if we go here to 5 step G is swash mixing which used to be if we go back to 4 step H so for some reason they they switch that if we go here to G it's it's swash mixing where you would set and and the, and the big difference with uh, version 5 is you could now if you look right here you could use uh, four servos and that's the reason I went to it because I was building a scale sheet ship um, with four cyclic servos and wanted to use the beast X and then they just come out so I thought I'd try it so so uh, what used to be step G now if you look is now step H servo trim <clears throat> but there are some differences um, we go back here if you look at G well, let me go to the uh, this V5 go to setup menu swatch plate servo trim if you look here um, Basically, you remember um, if the light is off, they are at the service, the servos a reference or a center pulse, right? And then you flick your rudder stick, and you go purple, red, blue. If you flick it again, you'll go to off again, right? So you'll go back to your center pulse. Well, with uh, with the version five. Um, look here on version 5 uh, you now have another color that's red blue flashing that's if you're using four servos right but if you um, you now flick in the aileron stick not the rudder stick so that's one difference and uh, when you enter this step the light will be off, which we're all used to. Flick your aileron stick to go purple, red, blue, red, blue flashing. But if you flick, flick it again, thinking you're going back to zero or center pulse, you're not. It goes purple, red, blue. The only way to get back to your center pulse, and, and I had some trouble figuring this out, um, let me get to my V5. Um, the only way to get back to it is you have to hold the button. Let me see. Go down here. Uh, default setting. Hold button for 10 seconds at any menu point except H to reset parameter data. Holding button at set. Holding button at, at H will 
only the trims will be reset. So if you want to go back, basically what that's saying is if you want to go back to your center pulse, you have to hold the, uh, the button where you used to just flick the rudder stick. So that's one thing. So it's just something to be aware of. So now if we go to uh, step G, uh, step H is third, I servo directions, let me see. It's still I. Um, J is, so they call it servo throw. And this is five, this is 4.2. So with step J now, if you remember, you step into the step and your grips will go to that preset trim position position that you found on step G, right? So you calibrate against that. Um, a little different on the uh, version 5. Um, and so what happens when you enter step J, let me go to the... Uh, cyclic throw. This is version 5 I'm dealing with here. <clears throat> um, be level and as you can touch your pitch gauge at the uh, calibrate to zero degrees and tap the aileron stick which I believe on version 4 it was your rudder stick. This, uh, this moved the rotor blade into the measuring position. Now check the pitch gauge. So so you want to see six degrees. So what it does basically is when you tap the uh, aileron stick, the blades will uh, move to where the B-Stacks would like it to be. And it turns the light blue. Right? Um, so if you, if you tap the stick and it's at eight degrees and your light's blue, you know you got a problem. Whereas on version four... Yeah, in version 4, you, you used to use the, okay, there's the aileron stick, that's the same, but you'd step into it and you would move your aileron stick, find your 6 degrees, and then look at your light. What this one does, where is it, sorry guys, what this does here is as soon as you touch the stick, it's going to go to a preset position and stay there, and then you look at your uh, light. And you can switch back and forth to zero when you click when you Yeah, so basically this is it's a little it's just a little different. So I thought I'd say. And I'll let you know. So let me see. Version four. Um let's see. The um the parameter menu I haven't messed with, but I believe it's all the same. The only thing I really did was play with my control style in there. Um, the big difference really is, is step G to be aware of, which is now step H. Um, oh yeah, the servo limit. Um, let me see. Uh, I think it is... Where is the uh, collective pitch? This one. Step K. Go to step K. Like the pitch. Um, this is also a little, a little difference. Um, you're not. You're uh, afterwards. Move the thrust stick up and down. Check whether the pitch is changing correct. If not, then it's set up menu point R. Uh, Reverse funk, so basically that's the same. You reverse it in the transmitter if it's not going up and down, right? And then after you do that, you check the LED status. On positive pitch, it must be blue. On negative pitch, it must be red. Um, in the case, the display is inverted. Red is red positive and blue negative. Tap the aileron stick to reverse the uh, pitch direction in the micro beats. So basically, you have to, when you go up to positive, you've got to see a blue light. 
When you go down, you got to see a red light now. That might that might be the same here. I can't remember something being different on that. Yeah, it might be something something different there too. That's another one to look out for. Um, the servo limit, I believe, is the same thing. Same thing, purple not good, blue is a good light on the, uh, this is the uh, servo cyclic limit. Um, yeah, this is, this is the same, but anyway, so that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to uh, run through that, so if you... If you haven't got into step to, um, if you're thinking of moving, this is a little late because it's been out a while, but if you're uh, thinking about getting or upgrading to version 5 in the Micro Beast, just be aware there are some differences in the setup. And uh, really, if you just read, you'll be fine. Unlike me, I just think I, you know, I know all the others so well, I don't even need to look at this, but I, you know. It is different, and it messed me up a little bit, especially with the four servos. So, anyway, hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.